Hey there, folks. Storm Babbitt is sweeping across the UK, bringing heavy rain and floods. And if you find yourself driving through flood water, you need to know how to stay safe. I'm Storm Babbitt, and today I'll be giving you some tips on how to navigate those tricky flood waters and keep yourself and your car out of harm's way. First things first, if you can avoid driving through flood water, do it. It's always better to find another route than risk getting stranded or damaging your car. But if you have no choice, here's what you need to know. Before you even think about entering the water, make sure to gauge its depth. If it's more than 6 inches of standing water or 4 inches of moving water, turn around. It's just not worth the risk. If you're unsure, watch how other drivers fare or call the emergency services for assistance. If you do decide to go through, take it slow. Stay on the crown of the road if possible and crawl through the water in first gear. Keep those engine revs up to prevent water from entering the exhaust pipe. And resist the urge to speed through the water. Going too fast can push water into the engine and cause serious damage. Even if you're driving a big 4x4, be cautious. Enter the water slowly, around 1 to 2 miles per hour, and then accelerate to 3 to 4 miles per hour. This creates a bow wave in front of your vehicle, keeping the air intake clear of water. But be warned, this technique won't work with older 4X4S, as the water can squirt straight into the engine bay. And remember, avoid aquaplaning. Going too fast into even shallow puddles can cause your tires to lose traction, and you'll lose control of your car. Plus, it's illegal and inconsiderate to soak pedestrians. Once you've made it through the water, dry your brakes by using them gently. And check your radiator for any blockages caused by leaves or debris. But what if the worst happens, and your car stops? Leave the bonnet closed to prevent further water damage, lock the car, and wade to dry land. In dire emergencies, you could try winding the car out by operating the starter in first or reverse gear, but don't rely on it. Remember, the Environment Agency and the AA strongly advise against entering flood water that is moving or more than 10 centimeters deep. A third of flood-related deaths involve vehicles because drivers take unnecessary risks. So, let's stay safe out there. And while we're talking about staying safe, let's not forget about driving in windy conditions. Gusts of wind can be dangerous, especially on open stretches of road or near bridges and hedges. Here are some tips to keep in mind. Before hitting the road, make sure your car is prepared for winter weather. Check your tire tread depth, tire pressure, fluid levels, battery, and have a winter essential pack handy. When driving in the wind, keep both hands on the wheel and be prepared for sudden gusts, especially when passing tall buildings or high-sided vehicles. Slow down to maintain better control of your car. And be mindful of cyclists and motorcyclists who are more vulnerable to wind gusts. Watch out for fallen trees and use fallen twigs or branches as a warning. Avoid towing high-sided trailers in windy conditions, and be aware of lower speed limits or temporary road closures due to fallen debris. Always plan your journey carefully and stay updated with weather and traffic announcements. So there you have it, folks. Stay safe out there in the stormy weather. Remember, it's better to be cautious and take your time than to risk your safety. Until next time. This is Storm Babbitt signing off.